Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna discuss about the types of call handlers in Unity connection. So in my previous video, I have discussed about the call handler that is system call handler only, how we can create it, how we can give the caller inputs, how we can record the announcements, how we can give the greetings to that particular call handlers, how we can configure in CUCM as well. Now, today I'm gonna talk about the types of call handlers in Unity, like how many types of call handlers we have. So there are three types of call handlers mainly. The first is system call handler. Then we have directory call handler. And the third one would be interview call handler. So what's the main purpose of these three? I hope you know about this system call handler if you watched my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, then please watch it out first and then go to then come to this video. So first, what is system call handler? It is mainly used for greetings. Somebody calls in and the caller can be offered different actions by pressing a certain number. For example, press zero to go to operator, press five for tick support and so on. This is my system call handler. Then I have a directory call handler, means if you want to search it from the directory, it is going to allow a user to search the directory to try to locate a user within a system, right? And then we have an interview call handler that is, an interview call handler is going to interview the caller. It's going to ask them questions and it can record the responses from caller. And this recorded message can be sent to any voicemail user. So this interview call handler is mainly used for the interviewing purpose. Like uh, you have a uh, scheduled interviews for some of the guys, like there are freshers guys and you want to take uh, the interviews for freshers and you have a particular set of questions or if you have an in-demand skill and you know what all are the questions you can ask then you can just add those questions in the interview call handler and provide an extension right and once the user calls to that extension and according to our configuration it will go to interview call handler right and there it will ask for a particular set of questions which we already configured or which we already added in this interview call handler. So whenever the question is there, it will record a response as well. We will configure the time, like how much time we will give it to that particular user to record that particular answer. And then after getting all the responses for all the questions, we can send that particular recorded questions and answers to any of the user in our voicemail, right? I will show it to you how we can configure this directly interview system call handler, right? Uh, like this, you can see it now, the Cisco Unity connection. Uh, we have a call management under this one. And under the call management, we have these three system call handler, directory call handler, and a interview call handler. Under the system call handler, we have these three which are created by default, goodbye, opening greeting and the operator. So as of now today, I'm going to discuss about this opening greeting. And uh, with the help of this opening greeting, I'm going to configure the interview and directory call handlers. Right. So in this opening greeting, if somebody is calling to the particular extension, which we give it, it is saying, hello, thank you for calling Cisco systems. You may enter the extension of the person you are calling at any time. For a directory of employees, press one. For job listing, press two. For local technical support, press four. For the operator, press zero, right? So if somebody is pressing one, it should go to directory search. This is what I need to configure in my call handler. If somebody is pressing two, it should go to the this job listing and job interview. That means an interview call handler should be there once user is pressing two. If user is pressing four, then it should go to local tech support. And if is pressing zero, then it should go to operator or reception. So now let me show you how we can configure it in the Unity. Right. So let me just log in to my unity first and then i'll show you how we can achieve this thing which i just discussed in my slides so now you know already how you can uh, create the system call handlers 
practical calendars and interview calendars. these are the three options which is under this call management okay so let me go to the system call handlers and here i have the greeting which i already created that is for customer care we have a goodbye we have opening and we have an operator now here we are taking the example of opening greeting so i can go to this opening greeting and i can configure it if you want to configure it on this particular customer care or if you want to add a new one and you want to give this that particular config then you can do that here i'm just taking an example of this opening greeting right so i'm just clicking on this one opening greeting and what i need to do i need to go to the particular caller inputs right so first i need to give an extension as well to this one because without extension it cannot take the calls and for this extension you need to go to CTA route point and add the dn as well with the 7777 extension right i i hope you can do that if you watch my first video on this call handler so now you need to go to this caller input right so what we need to do in this one let's just check it out in my slide here you can see the press one for the directory search that means it should go to the directory call handler press two for the interview call handler and press four and zero for the operator and the local tech support so let's just do that for press one and press two so i'll give the directly call handler to the caller input in one so let me open this one caller input key so one caller input should go to the directory call handler so as of now we do not have any name for the directory call handler right so i i i, I can't do anything on this call action like ignore hang up restart it it, it, it is not showing any anything related to the uh, directory call handler so we have the different options for interview call handler here and the directory call handler here right so one should go to directory call handler so directory handler is there and it will show a system directory handler only and just click on save right so after clicking on save you can see it is showing just updated caller input right and now this system directory handler where is this system directory handler you need to go to this directory handler here you can see it will show the system directory handler this is by default which is created if you want to create a new one you can that depends on you so in under this system directory handler you can see how it will search it under this directory here you can see system directory handler there is an announcement if you want to give it where should it search it should search in the entire server this is the configuration which i did entire server criteria order it should search it for the last name and then the first name search results behavior it should route automatically on a unique match or always request caller input or announcement that depends on this thing how you create this one right so this is the directory call handler now next thing is interview call handler because once user is pressing two it should go to interview handler right so interview call handler uh, i already created this one let me just delete this first and then i'll create a new one for you so for this let me just go to this add new interview handler and i will create a new uh, interview handler that is named as uh, freshers interview let me just give this particular name right extension i'm gonna give it as triple nine partition i hope you know about these things and now next thing would be recipient like if you save it and if somebody is given an interview then where it should go after getting all the responses you can click on this one user with mailbox and you can choose any of the user which is already there in under this users tab or you can send it to the distribution list the if any dl is there and you can choose this one as well most of the time we can give it to the user with mailbox like i'm just adding it to the user too response urgency mark normal after interview action once interview is done but you want to do call handler what do you want to do you want to give any other particular greeting or a goodbye then you can just click on this goodbye if you want to just disconnect that one and click on save right once this freshers interview 
interview call handler is created number is 999 what you want to do now you want to add the questions right for the questions you need to click on this added and then you can see the options of interview questions once you click on this interview questions you can see there are number of plenty of questions like till 1 till 20 here so many questions are there right now just click on the first question that is question number one the first question number in question text you can add the question like what is your name or or we can we can say tell me about yourself starting with uh we can say professional background right and maximum reply message length you can type it here 30 seconds you want to give 60 90 anything like one and a half minute you want to give it that the particular question click on save this is question number one now click on next then it will go to question number two now what's the next question what is your highest qualification right uh, now you want to give maximum reply message length it can be like highest qualification let's just give it a 10 seconds and click on save right next question if you want to add more like if you want to add 5 10 20 30 you can add it now the next question this one question number three question text uh, here what are the skills you are having right you want to give it as a 60 50 90 anything click on save right now let me go to the interview questions and it will show the first question number tell me about yourself with the professional background starting with question number two what is your highest qualification question number three what are the skills you are having now you want to give these three questions only just uncheck the remaining one right let me just uncheck all these so that it will just collect the three questions and answers and can send it to you now it's saying updated interview handler questions now let me go back to my interview basics here you can see uh, it will show up in a minute here you can see this is your freshers interview extension is already there this uh, configuration which i already did and under this interview questions you can see the questions which you created for this particular uh, handler right now let's just go back to the system call handlers under the opening greetings by pressing one like uh, you need to go to this caller input so once you press one it should go to directly call handler which we already created this one one send caller to system directory handler if somebody is pressing two in our example if it, he is pressing two then it should go to interview call handler right for that you have this interview handler click on this one and here you can see it is showing freshers interview which i just created if you have five or seven or ten interview call it will show up here i just have only one that's why it is showing only one and then click on save right this is for the next pressing by pressing two now go to the next caller input that is press four i believe four was there so why it is showing system code directory handler because it was like i have configured it earlier so now in our example if we are pressing four it should go to local tech support and press zero for reception so we are in press four it should go to the local tech support and then local tech support should have an extension number you can go to this transfer to alternate contact number let's suppose they have this number four five six seven eight nine this is local tech support this number should be configured only then it will transfer it right and then you can click on save right now let's go to the caller input zero if somebody is pressing zero it should go to the operator right here if somebody is pressing zero like here you can see if somebody is pressing zero what should be their call handler and it already clicked on operator attempt transfer and click on save right here now maybe you will ask 
it is like on the caller input it it was showing the op operator as hash tick like like a pound key as well right i can click on this one and i can change it like here it is going to call call handler or operator i can say call action and for this one ignore just click on save why it was showing operator earlier because i have configured few things earlier as well and that's why it was showing the pound key is in go to the operator right so now we have this thing if somebody is pressing zero it should go to operator pressing one send caller to system directory handler if somebody is pressing two, send caller to freshers interview. That is interview call handler. If somebody is pressing four, then it should transfer it to alternate contact number, which is the reception or an operator number. Here you can see it under the operator or reception. So these are the types of call handlers which you can create. Uh, like uh, this is the opening greeting, and these are the three types of call handlers in our Unity connection, right? i hope you learned something from this video if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment section and if you want to schedule a time with me you can go to this topmentio slash rohan underscore webmoney and you can schedule it if you have any other queries or you want a session for an hour for a two hours then you can schedule the time with me right and you can uh, check these memberships as well which i'm offering with the help of youtube you can go and check it out if you really like this video, then please share it with your friends and colleagues and please like, share and subscribe my channel so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.